there's a global effort going on to reduce our carbon footprint, which is the amount of carbon dioxide we emit in the atmosphere. One way is to grow food in cities, and local kids are heading up the effort here in Harrisburg. Sari Heidenreich takes a closer look. Strawberries, snow peas, salad mix. But what everyone is talking about? I bought some beets. What are you going to do with them? Uh, my wife's going to pickle them, and I'm going to eat the tops. Those beets are grown right here in Harrisburg. There you go. And served up You're welcome. by local youth. Learning how to plant uh, vegetables, how to harvest vegetables, how to sell. The reason why I work, I'm working here is because, uh, my, because of my background. You're welcome. I come from a farming family, so, and I've lived in the city most of my life. So I want to learn how to farm. I already wanted to. It's also a job. Merced, a 17-year-old SciTech high school grad, is one of two summer youth employees at Joshua Farm, a one-acre plot in Harrisburg. Oh, Allison Hill is a beautiful neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Kirsten has been a resident sure. since 1999, and in 2006, she began planting, weeding, and harvesting on an unused plot owned by the school district. All right. Oh, I pulled one out. This is sad. <laughs> Part of what Kirsten is so excited about the Joshua Farm for is that it gives people a chance to see where their food comes from. Remember those beets that Gary was so enthusiastic about? Well, here's one of them. As I really want people to see the connection um, between food and how it's grown and who grows it and how they're treated. There are 80 members of Joshua Farm's subscription service. Thank you. Plus customers at its Strawberry Square farm stand. Like when I'm at the farm, I, I can get away and I can like have time for myself like when I'm harvesting something or I'm weeding or something like I don't feel like I'm in Harrisburg like it's really peaceful there. Which ones would you like? Working for you in Harrisburg, Sari Heidenreich, ABC 27 News.